I just found a gem. A beautiful answer by Phil Michelson explaining what goes through his head before he hits that golf ball with an iron. Enjoy it because it's a perfect, perfect example as to why hiring a specialist makes all the difference. A massive competitive advantage. Enjoy it as much as I did. I always thought that way, very analytical. There's a lot that I process on every shot, and there's a lot of detail. Uh, do you want me to touch on it, or do you really, is it boring? Hey, tell me about it. Well, in my practice, I build a reference. So uh, I hit the same shot over and over, building a 9-iron that goes 145 yards, let's say. Now, that will vary based on temperature and altitude, and uh, which will change with time of day and whatnot, as well as wind and, and those effects. But uh, one of the things people will say is I hit my, I hit my wedge, you know, 120. Well, you might hit a 120 under certain conditions, but in the morning, the ball's not going to go 120. Maybe in the afternoon when it's warmer and the ball heats up, but it's going to go 5 to 10 yards shorter in the morning. People don't factor that in. If you get a little bit of water in between the club face and the ball, people don't know. It actually increases spin, causes it to go shorter. The first cut always comes out 6 to 8 yards dead. If the grain is into you, it's going to launch and hit lower on the face, launch lower, have more spin. Mm -hmm. If it's down grain, the club slides a little bit quicker, you'll get more out of it. If it's sitting up on zoysia or, or off of a tee, always goes five yards farther with each iron based on the fact that the center of gravity is underneath the ball and it launches higher, a little bit less spin. All these things I have to factor in when I look at the lie. Okay, how is the lie and how is the ball going to come out relative to my 145 nine iron? Now, that's 10 off a of stock. So I have a normal swing. Right. And then I have a second swing for every iron shot. And that's, sh it's a little bit shorter backswing with the same acceleration. So I have a 145 and a 155 yard shot. What is the lie going to do? What's the temperature? What's the wind? How do I want the ball coming into the green? If you choke down an inch, three yards comes off of it. Yeah. One degree aloft is three yards. So if you open the face a degree, that's three yards. So if I have a reference of 145, I want it to fly 142, I can choke down an inch. It'll come in a little bit lower, a little bit flatter and release. Or I can just open it up and hit a little bit of a cut. That'll be three yards, but it'll back up. All these variables, like I'll process yeah. uh, like that when I look at the lie and assess the situation, see what kind of grass it is. And those are the nuances that allow me to be so precise with my wedges and my, my short irons and my distance control. Right. And, and that's why iron play has been such a strength for, for my game is that uh, I'm able to be precise to within a yard or two. And uh, in my practice sessions, because I hit 1,500 balls every month to those specific numbers – my reference is is pretty pretty on. If I uh, hit a shot one forty five and I feel like I nailed it, it usually uh, it that's usually where it goes. That. Yeah.